Okay, still ghosts. <laughs> Yet again, trying to get up. And to sleep, of course. So, yeah. So, make your mind, lady. Make up your mind. Yeah, well, she's going to sleep, okay. No need to bother with her anymore. As you have slept to all the morning. Sorry, gonna be sun coming up. And yeah, there's always this firefly here. Kind of fun. Let's also yet again go backwards out. And are we like blocked somewhere? Ow, oh, right now we're not. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay, so what do we get for breakfast? It's probably, oh yeah, the cooked hair meat is already going bad. It's at 50. So I probably should throw it away already. Yeah, I'm not gonna be really eating cooked hair meat this early in the day. So yeah, we can already just throw it away, unfortunately. Anyway, what else? Apple is still good. Let's eat that then for a bit of a breakfast. And the bread and the bread rolls are probably gonna be going bad pretty soon as well. So maybe it's gonna be up for lunch, but I don't exactly think so. Anyway, yeah, we can already throw away the hair then. We don't need to carry it around then. Shame. How do we actually use uh, get here? Okay, there is a path up supposed to be. Yes, there is. So right now we can go here, basically eastwards, and make our way up there. I'm kind of thinking right now, since I'm already up there, I don't remember... No, the hunter, he didn't offer repairs, if I remember correctly, but I will need to repair the bow. Because the bow is rather damaged. From what I've seen, it's about 50. So, I might actually want to repair it sometime soon. How does it actually look? Oh, that's a nice one. In some nice. <laughs> string on it. We should be already right next to the road somewhere. Yeah, we already should be heading. Trying to head upwards if we can. She apparently maybe even can. Yeah, there seems to be a road here. Okay, so we got on it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And that's gonna be probably leading us right next to... Right next to the inn that is there. And also, of course, the training camp. Okay, so here we are. And that's the way up. Nice. here a bit early but I'm just gonna wait here he probably will be arriving pretty soon anyway because if I remember correctly in the very first quest when you were training with Lord Capon and train, training with Bernard as well he was here very early and it seems like that he's probably it's gonna be his routine for the whole game so I kind of guess let's just wait around here for an hour for him
Right. It's seven in the morning. So where the hell are you? Still sleeping. Come on, sleepy head. I give you half an hour. Still sleeping, really. There he goes. There he is, my boy. God be with. I've taken care of the camp. Where's the proof? Here it is. Good work. And that's not all. There's some trouble on the road to Sasau. There's most likely another camp thereabouts. Yeah, we have actually encountered that before. I have some, so I'm uh, thinking you're gonna be also right doing some battle in there. Good. Good. I'll be with you. So let's see about that. And since it's already eight, I will be also looking about the potential repair of the bow. So there is a blacksmith, of course, close by. I'm gonna be looking with him if he is the one to repair the bow for me. I'm kind of thinking so that he might be. Right, the one here. And I'm not gonna be selling the other bow yet. Because, yeah, it's just kind of annoying to be <laughs> entering so many so many exchanges. But, yeah, I want to... Oh, apprentice. God save you. God be with you. You're the apprentice, but I want your hey! master. Where the hell is he, though? Oh, there he is. There is the blacksmith. God save you, good night. We want the dogwood hunting bow report repaired. Yes. And he should be still fine. Oh, it's actually kind of already going down. We did get hit a few times, but still, the only thing that needs. Definitely repair is the bow. And we didn't haggle. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that's that. Well, that is he's gonna be having a bit more money. And I'm potentially gonna be selling him something, so no problem. You deserve it for your work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Which means the bow... Oh, where do we have it? Where do we have it? A good hunting bow. Is it like better now? Probably not. No, it isn't. But at least it's not gonna get damaged. As this one, we're gonna be put into horsey. That we are not overburdened, but yeah, we're just selling it later. Anyway, next ruin. Okay, I don't think I have actually been there. Interesting. Yeah. Sorry. Damn! Stay away from people if you can't buy the <laughs> I said sorry. Didn't mean to. Don't be so nasty and ill tempered. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. No, don't go that fast. That is very dangerous to do. At places as these. Very dangerous indeed. So right now there should be a way maybe to the left. Could be working. Because you need to kinda go that way. Yeah. Okay, so where is it actually gonna lead though? Up 
Okay, inside the town. Well, we don't exactly want that, do we? Uh, can we those scale this? That's the question. We probably can. It's looking not impossible so far. Now it is gonna be tricky all the way. made it all the way down. There we are. Oh, there's another ledge. Okay, so... Yeah, there is not much of a way. There is not much of a way, to be honest. Oh, come on. There you go. But here we probably can go down. Yes, yes, there we are. Sweet. Okay, so right now we need to basically cross and go here into exactly where that one is. Hmm. Yeah. So this is a different spot than I was actually thinking uh, originally. Originally I thought it's one that is a bit more closer to the river. And closer to Sazava, but this one is different. So we're gonna see how that fight is gonna go. So far the bandit camps haven't really been that difficult. Or rather they've been easy. But yeah, that maybe is also because we are already leveled up quite significantly and Henry is really becoming yeah. quite a solid archer. And it seems like that I as well as a player. <laughs> Can I learn a few? things about the archery, so it seems to be kind of working for us. That's a good combination with horsey, the Mongolian style. Working really well indeed in this game. It's kind of a bit of a cheese to be honest, but well, fighting against a horseman, that never was a good idea in the olden times, so it kind of also makes sense in a way. Yeah. I'm gonna be trying to approach them from the back, not basically from the front row. Let's see how that's gonna be working out for us. Yeah, let's continue on this yeah. road, on this road, and then try to close on them. From the other side. Okay, Pebbles already getting winded. <laughs> I've been running, running a bit too much with him. Let, let, let's let him recuperate, because of course, he might be running into bravo. Okay. That is different. Who the hell is trying to go after me, boys? Some random rebel. Okay. Well, guys, you are going by the sword. Yeah, they are trying to run away. That's not gonna fly with me, boys. Yeah. You shouldn't have attacked me. Shouldn't have done yeah. that. Oh. So he's done, and where is the last dude? He should be also running still around somewhere here. So where the hell did you run? I'm kinda getting 
tired of all of you random rebel bandits trying to attack me. So you are not gonna be getting away with it anymore. You are gonna be paying for your insolence. Yeah. Where is the last dude? Is he like gonna be getting away? Where the hell can I see him if I can see him? Also getting close to a bandit camp. There, there he is. Is that a way fairer? Who are you? Way fairer. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to kill random people. That's not something that I want to be in business of. That'd be a really bad idea. But it seems like that one actually got away. Oh, um, shame. Maybe he's gonna be coming back. But yeah, I haven't really noticed him anywhere. In which case... I'm gonna get the loot from the two guys that I did get. Okay, he can sheath the sword. Doesn't seem like there's gonna be any more fighting just now. Uh, but it's also probably gonna be a bit difficult to find the dead body again. That's usually kinda hard task. <laughs> Especially since I don't exactly remember where I cut him down. Could be somewhere here maybe. Maybe I could just do it the other way around. Find where the first encounter was and then run from that point. I think that could work. So I think that I actually cut down the first one right somewhere on the crossroads. Or at least close to them. But has he already like this spawned? It would be a bit of a shame. Dead body, dead body, where are you? There, on the left? Or not? No, no, no. That's only a tree. <laughs> Almost look like it could be a dead body, some kind of shirt. Though not. It's not. I could have sworn I actually fell the first guy somewhere near the road, but I have a slight feeling he might be already gone. In which case, uh, the other dude, other dude, maybe as well. I could be looking around in vain at this point. now oh, well kind of far away already i think he was somewhere close to the edge of this cliff i don't exactly remember really how far away i had to run to catch up with him i don't think i had to run this far away Very strong feeling that the bodies are already gone, all of them. Yeah, that's a shame. But at least we have learned that if somebody is running away wildly and you don't have any kind of good spot how you could identify where the last body was, then it's probably better just to loot the, loot the dead body <laughs> and leave the other guy run. 
you want the loot then. If not, and if you if you rather after the blood, then you can I guess blow up. Yep. But it's nowhere to be found. It definitely looks like that they already spawned though. But at least I got two of those, so they are not gonna be bothering anybody anymore here in this world. Alright, so that means that we're gonna be just checking right now on the road in case I somehow misremembered the first red the first dead guy. And if he didn't, if you don't find him here, we're just gonna be continuing on our road. Yes, I don't see him here anywhere. And head into the main bandit camp after this little <laughs> after this little random adventure here. Okay, okay, so journal and we are almost there. So right now we are actually almost on top of them. So we might just as well leave pebbles somewhere close by here. Equip our new bow. And have a look. There it is, right below us, or is it not? I'm slightly confused. There I see, I think, fire. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that seems to be it. Okay, so, so far I don't see anybody anywhere. They'll be potentially guarding from the top side. Maybe the camp is all the way down there and not up here. Okay, so that wasn't fire. Those were <laughs> those were just mushrooms, damn it. Yeah. And we have actually discovered a grave. Well, right next to Bandit Camp. Okay. That does tend to explain a few things, but of course we are quite far away at this point from Pebbles. Don't want to sprint into the hill in the full heat of the battle. So I'm gonna be picking him up and going a whole lot closer. But it seems like a pretty good ground to run with him. So I'm thinking this is gonna be a good encounter if we need to. You might even approach them from basically front. Because there's a very good road right next to it. And if you can get a solid venue for of course our spot, or rather for our fun with the horsey, we might be I mean also quite an easy battle. This is looking like a hunting spot for wild boars. So why isn't it registering? Hmm. Range. Anyway, right now we are exactly on the road, so we are in the end gonna be approaching them from the main road. Anyway, and I do remember this camp. I do remember this camp actually. I was stopping here, or I wasn't stopping here, I think I was just flying past when they were trying to attack me. Yeah, I'm fairly certain of it. Okay. He's going right now of this direction, so we might be able to maybe pick him off. As a loner. What's going on? Yep, I'm waiting for you, boy. What's going on there? That's an archer, or yes, it's an archer. Over here. Where okay. is everyone? Quick. To arms! Get over here. Where are you running? Over here! Where is everyone? Quick! Yeah! 
Okay, I can I probably catch him off just by himself. Oh yeah, tactics. Damn! Really? Still missed him. Are you gonna? Yes. Stupid bandit. Stupid bandit, you are done. Oh, and he's having nice piercing arrow in him. Then what do you have? Groshans for me. A leather glass. Actually, they are quite expensive. I'm gonna take those then. Light tarts, jerkin, long distance arrows. Mine, mine. And that's about it. Light tarts, jacket. Oh, that's useless. But yeah, otherwise, black hood? <laughs> Actually, if it wasn't that broken, it could have been quite expensive, to be honest. The hood is a simple head covering that covers the head, and also the shoulders and upper body with a short cape or mantle. It's been really quite high cost for how it's destroyed, so maybe it was above 200 when it wasn't destroyed, but right now, it's not really useful anymore. So, there you go. You are... Not really gonna be dangerous anymore, you don't have anything either. So that's one gone. Let's switch into our sword, and it seems like at this point, this quest... Oh yeah, that's the boar hunting spot. Right now we probably need to approach from the correct, or correct way or anything. Uh, but this quest probably should have been taken a bit before, before we became so strong. Because right now, it, they are even running away from us before fighting. And actually the boar spot was a bit a bit sideways from the original place where I was at. We like maybe kill a few of them them from stealth. Oh that's another one. So are you belligerent? No, he's not. Another coward. That was a real good hit. Okay, he. This one is belligerent. This one is a whole lot more interested in the fight. Okay, let's make him rethink that. Ouch! Really? Oh, that was a really heavy hit. And well, we are we were on the hill, so of course. But we are still not losing anything. We're not losing really health because we are having very good armor let's have a bit of practice here That badly, actually. There we go, that was the camp leader. And we actually managed to kill him in good combat, that's... that's good. 
gonna be good experience. Kind of happy about it. He dropped the sword somewhere here, so where did he go? In case it was something really good. Ah, uh, maybe slide it or I'll slow it out. Merchant sword. Okay, that's probably gonna be expensive, right? Merchant sword. There it is. Three hundred. That's solid. That is really solid indeed. Okay, so we take that, that, the arrows that I put in him, chainmail. 8, 10, 16. 8, 10, 16. Our hauberk is what? Uh, it's something different. Chainmail is probably instead of the brigandine. Or how is it actually right now? I'm slightly confused. Huh, but I have to probably explore that. Mail coif, that's expensive, gonna take that. Two piece kettle hat, not good. And yeah, that's everything is crap, but I'm interested in the chain mail. What the hell is up with that? Chainmail coats and vests are mailed, made for small metal rings. Linked together into a mesh, they differ in the size and shape of the rings, as well as the linking system. The rings are usually riveted closed. Chainmail provides against or had a good protection against slashing, but can be pierced fairly easily. And without a layer of padding, provides almost no defense against blunt crushing blows. Hmm. So let's take that and have a look. Where does it actually go? Thinking it should be basically the same as the Hobrek, right? Yes, it's the same as the Hobrek. Okay, so chainmail is eight, ten, six, and Hobrek is nine, twelve, seven. So better. Yeah, so you can keep your stupid chainmail. <laughs> Because that's really not that expensive and it's damn heavy. Okay, keep your chain mail, dude. And the rest, that's nothing I would be interested in at all. Okay, but there are still a few more guys that will be in next in line to be basically put down by the sword. What we do, oh well, they are already spoiled, so I'm gonna have to throw in away anyway. Leather glass, horsey. Mail coif, horsey. Merchant sword, a horsey as well. The sword was the best thing. That's 300 groschens right there. So well, that's good. Let's equip our sword and go have a look, because there was another guy who was running away, who quite probably ran back to the camp. So let's just have a look. Okay, there are two guys here. One is the What's archer, that? another one seems to be crappy as well. So I'm thinking hey, archer is definitely there? gonna run. What's going on there? And You're in the wrong place. Oh he's not. Two arms! Shoot! Hey! All of you! This is not a good spot for us to fight at all. Not a good spot. I need to get him into the open here. Ah, there we go. Ow! Hey, he hit me. Yeah. Hide behind this freaking tree, damn it. Mm, turn around, horsey. There we go. But he did still hit me, and it he did take a few hit points from me. It wasn't luckily any kind of huge hit. The last boy is gonna be still running somewhere around here, but I want to loot him first in case he actually despawned. Because he's gonna be having some arrows, and maybe if you are lucky, he's gonna be having some good arrows. Okay, better hunting arrow that is uh, from him. Really just hazel bow, nothing all that special. You're having already better one. But 
Bandit's ear bandages I'm taking. Better hunting arrow, yes. Groshans, yes. Long distance, Marigold. And that's about it. Now that seems to be about it, because the rest are useless things, more or less. Okay. So thank you for your services. In dying and supplying me with more loot. And we are gonna be looking about the last guy then. Okay, what do we put on the horsey? Uh uh. X. Two of those. And the bow. Very good. We'll go have a bit of an adventure. Oh, there's the last. There's the last gentleman for the shaving. Entertainment. Oh. Well, how do you like this entertainment? I can a horseman. Darn! So, if he can get actually, over here. You'll get one. if he can get away from the tree, then it could be working. Ow! Ow. Uh. I'll leave it be. Don't necessarily need to kill him. Oh, right now I do. Why do you run away from me without actually letting you go? Uh. Did he go? Yeah. Okay, he just outright disappeared. Well, that's that's a damn good skill to have, and that's a damn good damn good skill to have indeed. To just yeah. <laughs> spring into a run and run so fast that you disappear out of the world altogether. Well, I kind of guess good job. Well, you saved your life. Good job indeed. And did you drop the sword somewhere? I think you should have because you were giving up. So you definitely had to have dropped a weapon. Unless it of course despawned as well. Let's have a look around. I think it was somewhere around here. A sword shouldn't be that hard to find because it should be glinting at least a bit. It shouldn't be that impossible to locate it somewhere here, even with all the all the different shadows and lights dancing everywhere. But yeah, well, we need to find the correct spot where he actually tried to give up. Which I'm not entirely certain where it actually was. <laughs> hmm. Uh, but at any rate, he was, of course, the secondary guy. He wasn't the leader. So if he had any kind of weapon, it never would have been anything great. So if I don't find it, it's not gonna be that much of a loss. Yeah, absolutely don't see it anywhere here. Could have sworn it was actually this tree. Where he started to give up. This one or this second one. Somewhere here. Oh yeah, nothing. One big nothing. So let's have a look what I actually do have inside. Inside their camp. What kind of treasure and treasure chest and whatever. So hopefully it's not gonna be another hard one because I cannot do hard ones. I can barely do <laughs> the, well, I can probably right now do normal ones if it's something like that. Though I haven't met actually normal normal ones. I think I have met only easy and hard. So is there actually something in between? Because I don't remember necessarily seeing a normal chest with the difficulty. Might not even be something like that there. 
in the game. Huh. Yeah, well, let's look into the camp. I think that all of them should be handled at this point. There are three places and I've killed about four people. <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh, poor guy. He actually came back, one of them. Sleeping off, trying to survive, and... Yeah, not gonna be able to do that, boy. So what do you have as a loot? Apparently we cannot cut ears from life from living people. <laughs> Bit of a shame, <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> this is ours, ours, silver ring, ring, definitely ours, and this is ours as well. Uh, nothing else here, and you might just as well try to get away if you want to. And we can mount the horse, actually. Uh, can we do something with you? Apparently not. But we can also smack you to run around, but we don't really need to do that. Because I'm kind of having a feeling that with some of the bandit camps, there should be a possibility of at least the leader jumping on the horse and having a basically fight on the horse. But either it wasn't implemented or it's not working. Really don't know which. That's that's disgusting water. <laughs> it's not really clean one at all. Let's have a look at the chest. It definitely looks like a heart. Oh, very hard. Yeah. I can't do that yet. I'm really bad at lockpicking everything, so no, that's not for me. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna be cooking this and this. So that it actually is holding a bit longer. <laughs> As he's lying in there. Gonna be using his fire. Right now it's gonna be lasting a bit longer, right? Yeah, one more day, so it's gonna be maybe a good dinner for today, because the bread and bread roll is already gonna be going off. So I think we have just secured ourselves uh, either a lunch or a dinner. Well, apparently it's gonna be a dinner already. So, like, getting up or what are you gonna do? Oh, yeah, oh. I was thinking he's actually get, getting up, but no, I was just kicking him around, apparently. If we were actually <laughs> sadistic, you could just drop him into the fire. I already tried to basically drop a bandit into the water, into the river. If he's gonna drown, well, apparently not. Apparently not. A bit of a shame would be like in, if something like that worked, but right now, here we go. And what's actually gonna happen if he's gonna start waking up and we are still still carrying him? Here is about that one. So, wake, wakey. Wakey, wakey, bandit. And what are you gonna be doing? He's probably gonna be starting to run away. When he actually gets up, but here we are, and well, in the meantime, we probably can just like sit down here and wait for him to wake up and have the dinner, I guess, because we are already at 55, so we should nourish not to lose our diet. And we have just basically prepared the hair meat and whatnot, so hair meat is it's gonna be. 
69 and this one we can maybe eat it as well though we have already eaten the whole rabbit <laughs> so like well, we don't have anything to actually eat it with don't have any kind of bread or whatever this is already bad so I don't want to risk losing my diet I'm not certain if actually bad bread or anything is gonna be put in it there but since we are still hungry let's eat the venison as well Okay, we can have good nourishment now. So we took your we took your food, cooked it in here in your fire, ate it, and we are waiting for you to actually start getting up so that we can maybe do something with you. In the meantime we can just pull out the fire. And put out the fire rather, that's the correct verb in English. So, how about you actually getting up? Or is he like. Have you like killed him? Maybe he killed him! Oh, yeah, that's why he's actually not getting up. We probably didn't kill him like, like that. But we maybe like put him to sleep. Well, let's call it like that. And then he died out of his wounds. Which is also the reason why he came back. Because he was bleeding and he was close to death. But it's kind of strange that we actually... Oh yeah, he's dead. Okay. So he did die. Right now we can get the ear. Once we actually tried to steal from him, he still wasn't dead. But he died a bit later. Right now we see he's dead. And we could have waited here for quite a time. Uh, what was there? Yeah, just a coif. Not that really useful. Okay, so that's... Another camp dealt with then. And horsey, you are just gonna be here. Don't have any plans for you. All right. Means you're coming basically back. What's the time? It's gonna be taking a long time. Why are you going this way? Oh no! Why are you going this way? Why don't you go this way? That's much shorter route. Damn it. I could have saved like maybe half an hour, an hour of walking around. Damn. Because I'm right now hoping that Bernard is not gonna be sleepy anymore. Or rather yet. And I'm also kind of would be liking if you could disrupt the fast travel. But I'm thinking it's gonna have to do with how it's working, how it's simulating the world. world. And that's the reason why I actually cannot disrupt that. It's already 20. Mm, he might be already sleeping, unfortunately. Uh, not up there. Yeah, he is already in the building. Yeah. Oops. Welcome, Henry. Welcome. Nice to feel welcome. Maybe I can still catch him. Please, please, pretty please. Oh no, he's not. Oh yeah, he is. He just ch changed bats. Okay. Well, not gonna be waking him up, of course. That's not nice to do. In which case, you might be just heading back here again. The Theresa, and it seems like you basically the whole days are right now being kept by fighting against the bandits. We have potentially to sell here. Let's come into Horsey, one of those. As well. Uh, why did it switch? Oh, yeah, because this. 
move to horse is X and we should be reasonably good to go. Right now he's 146. We didn't really get anything huge here. Ash hunting bow we can sell. Potentially if he's still gonna be finding somebody. A merchant sword into our is a bow also. And the gloves and the coif. Okay. Let's see, maybe we can still catch somebody up who'd be interested in a few things here and there. Okay, not you. And he's just going to bed. Yep. <laughs> Everybody's already going away. So I think that everybody's gonna be close right now. Okay. Or not. Yes. Everybody's already close. Okay. So we're gonna be doing this another day. Let's put it back to horsey. All that we don't need. And the merchant sword. I'm gonna be looking at that though. For uh, 49 49 2. Forty nine, forty nine to where is our sort? That's much better. Okay, so that's gonna be sold when you have the opportunity. And I'm just gonna fast travel down there. No point, why not? Forbidden to walk at night here without a light. Yeah, don't don't get your panties in a knot here. I'm just home. I'm just heading to my home here. Or second home, more or less. Scarlet said it was the first home that it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> of course, but yeah. Okay, inventory, we're gonna be getting from you something that you want to keep, which is the silver ring. Gonna be throwing away a few of those, the bread and unfortunately the bread roll. Didn't really work out that well for us. I bought a few, too many. And we're gonna be cleaning ourselves up and heading into a sec. Okay, so time is good, which means that you can right now put into the trunk exactly what you wanted. That was the one extra ring that we got. There it is, and that seems to be pretty much it right now. Yes. So let's head into another day, it's gonna be another 8 hours, though 8 hours, he's really getting up about 7 to 8, at 8 he was pretty much there if I remember correctly, so he probably gets up at 7, hmm. so let's see about those 9, 
So it's gonna be a bit more comfortable. I'm gonna be heading through town to see if maybe we can buy something to get for breakfast and maybe some bread as well to take with us.